Located in the Kansai region of Japan, Himeji City, or Himeji-shi, is the second largest city in Hyogo Prefecture next to Kobe. The city can be reached in less than an hour from Osaka, Kyoto, and Kobe with just one train ride away. Honestly, this is one of my favorite cities so far, and Himeji has a lot to offer, but one of the most popular tourist destinations here is the Himeji Castle. It is widely considered as Japan's best and most beautiful surviving feudal castle, and it is designated as both a national treasure and a UNESCO World Site Heritage. In this video, I will be showing you the different places that you must visit once you're in Himeji City, and of course, some tips and tricks for your travel needs. Number 1. Purchase a Himeji Castle Loop Bus Pass Exploring Himeji City like any other cities here in Japan is very easy. Most cities actually offer different types of bus passes that allow tourists to ride unlimited bus rides around the city. Since it is possible to explore the main tourist destinations here in Himeji City within a day, this bus pass is definitely a steal. Once you exit Himeji Station, go to Quell, and from there you will get to see the Shinki Tourist Office, and you can purchase the bus pass there. Once you make it inside the office, you'll find different types of brochures with different languages and you will be assisted with an English guide giving you a map and then telling you specific information you need to know about the bus ticket. Once you get your bus pass right here, 400 yen, please look for this specific bus stop because this is where all the city loop buses will stop, drop off and pick up point. And the bus itself inside is very, very convenient and unique in design. Number two, begin your tour by having breakfast at Cafe St. Maria, Himeji branch. This cafe is just located beside the Shinki bus office where you purchase your bus pass. So before exploring, it's a good idea to have breakfast here. I highly recommend for you to get their breakfast toast set with salad, drinks, and this ham and cheese toast. It is to die for, I swear to God. It's very, very filling. And the best part is, it's just for 650 yen. Number 3. Himeji Castle Also known as the White Huron Castle, due to its elegant white appearance, Himeji Castle is widely considered as Japan's most spectacular castle for its imposing size and beauty and its well-preserved complex castle grounds. Once you reach the entrance, you can get to purchase the ticket to go inside the castle in this machine right here. They also have a promotion wherein you can get a ticket for the Himeji Castle and Japanese Garden at a discounted rate of 1,050 yen. Be warned though that when going here, you have to wear comfortable shoes because it is a climb to reach the top of the castle. Seriously guys. Oh, and when entering, they will ask you to remove your shoes. So if you're not comfortable, make sure to wear your socks so that you can enter inside the castle comfortably. Once you're inside the castle, you'll see the architecture and it's very, very beautiful. It's like you're in a set of a film or something. You can feel the old Japan inside here and you will get to see different information about the relics inside and things like that although it's in japanese but it's nice to see some pictures not sure if these are replicas but it's cool and also the view from the top is absolutely amazing yeah i went here during the summer so it was hot <laughs> the old era japan is absolutely interesting the history and everything like that seeing it in person is just amazing mind-blowing number four Himeji City Museum of Arts if you're the type of person who's fascinated with paintings exhibits museum and art and even books things like that then this place is definitely for you the Himeji City Museum of Arts have different exhibits depending on the season and there are different artists that feature their work inside here. 
When I went to Himeji during the summer, there was a modern French painting exhibit inside the museum. And that was something I got interested in recently because of my friend Valerie, who helped me start painting. Insider tip, they also have a cafe in the first floor. Number 5. Ride a rental bicycle. There are a lot of bicycle rental machines around the city and it's very cheap. For one hour, you just have to pay 100 yen. And so you can use this to explore around the different tourist spots near each other. So it's a very, very fun experience. Number 6. Himeji Koko and Garden so if you're the type of traveler to enjoy the nature, peace, and tranquility, go to Kokoen Garden to experience the beautiful Japanese picturesque garden landscape right here. It's so peaceful, it's so beautiful, and it's already included. I mean, the ticket was already included in the Himeji Castle entrance that I paid for because it was in a promotion. And last one, number seven, visit Ekimaya Flower Road and the rest of the vicinity of Himeji Station. So you can get your souvenir, shopping, and dinner around the area. There are a lot of cute cafes and restaurants to explore. Basically, that's it for our Himeji City travel guide video. I hope you guys enjoyed and got a lot of information. And I hope that this video inspires you to visit Himeji as a day trip or a side trip when you visit the Kansai region in Hyogo Prefecture. There are more cities out there here in Japan that is yet to be discovered or explored by many travelers. And so I hope to explore those different cities and show them to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't and share, like, and comment on this video and follow me on Instagram at thevertravels underscore to be updated real time in my life here in Japan as a jet participant and as a travel buddy. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!